And so gratitude is a positive attitude. That was Darren's speech title. His speech objective was to focus on the positive, was to share a personal experience of growth. Apparently for this project, he had to write a journal. Did you write a journal? Okay, well you were meant to write a journal, and then you were meant to go back and look into the journal, and then just share an experience where you've grown. And Darren kind of did that. So if you look at the objectives of the project, he did grow. He shared something that he was struggling with. He wasn't really happy. He wasn't really enjoying his life. He wasn't really finding any pleasure or fulfillment in life. And then he met this wonderful lady called Irene. And she was like, thank you, policeman, for not giving me a 3,000 NT fine, only 1,280 fine. That was wonderful. Uh, thank you for finding us a parking lot, even though we have to walk three kilometers. But we're so thankful to have one, right? So he did really show us that experience of growth and that attitude that he learned from his girlfriend. So yes, if you look at the objectives of the speech, he made the objectives of the speech. A couple of us were also a little bit perplexed because we kind of kept on watching Darren come up to Ben and kind of, hey, what's going on over there, Ben? You know, looking at the timer and, and kind of going there. And during the intermission, I, I took up his sheet and this project, we had a speech length of two to three minutes or five to seven minutes. So I guess he was shooting for the two or two, three minute speech, not the five to seven minute speech. And so that's why there's been a little bit of a conflict on the timing. So maybe he was over time or under time, but he wasn't on time. <laughs> so this is the first thing I want to just address generally as speaking. As speakers, we really need to take a look at the agenda and we need to be responsible for the agenda. Whenever people invite us to speak, we need to confirm how long, how much time do I have? Do I have five minutes? Do I have three minutes? So that was on you, not on the VP. So please take responsibility for that. But the second thing I want to talk about here as well is that you are someone who has boundless enthusiasm, boundless energy, boundless participation. Every time we ask you to do something, you do it just boundlessly. You never stop. You never stop. We just say, Darren, help, and you just jump in boundlessly. But this is the one thing I also want to share with you is that when it comes to speaking, you say yes, 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 yes. But now my friends are going to laugh at me, right? Ah. But great speaking comes from great thinking. Okay, you can laugh. <laughs> and this is what I think sometimes with your speech is that you have an idea for your speech. And we can see you have the idea for the speech. But how much time do you actually spend developing the speech? I know for myself, when I first started speaking in Toastmasters, until Vesta actually challenged me to give a speech off the cuff, I would spend about a week writing every speech and practicing each speech at least a hundred times. Great speaking comes from great thinking, great reflecting. So I would encourage you now to write your next speech now. Not wait for the VP. Write it now. Refine, refine, refine until you have the perfect speech. Great speaking requires great thinking.